All right, this is lesson uh, 2.3, um, and the learning target is to write percents as decimals and decimals as percents, okay? So we want to, our ultimate goal is to be able to take a number and to make it into a decimal, into a fraction, into a percent, and back and forth and back and forth, okay? So what we're doing right now is we're going to do some percents when you have some percent, you're going to put it as a decimal, okay? And remember, a percent is just a part of something. If I do 100% of it, I do it all, okay? It's kind of like um, a fraction that is 2 over 2. It equals a whole, the whole thing, 1. Um, a percent, if I get 100%, I have everything. Um, if I have less than 100%, and I have just a part of the whole, a certain percentage of the whole, okay? So here I have some percents. I have 32%, 6%, 93%. less than the whole. This one, 93%, is almost the whole thing, okay? The 6% is very small, not much of it. Um, and 32% is a little less than half. Okay. So, there's a couple different ways you can do this. One is, anytime something is a percent, it's the number, whatever's right here, is the number part over 100. So, 32 hundredths. Now, I want to get it to a decimal. That's a fraction. So, I could do 32 divided by 100. But if I say this, it's 32 hundredths, which is that, 32 hundredths, okay? So you could take it to a fraction, then divide and get to a decimal. Or if I have 32 percent, here's a little tiny trick I use. I don't know, it's not, not great, but I see that I have two dots here. If I want to remove this percent, so not have it be a percent, but be a decimal, I take these two dots, two dots, and I start from where the decimal would be. You know, there's always a decimal there, okay? I don't need it because there's nothing after it, but if I put it there, then I'm going to get rid of this thing by moving it one, two, and then that's gone. So it's 0.32. Okay. So when you want to go from a percent to a decimal, you go to the left. Two place values to the left. Okay. So like on this one, 6%, I have 6, always put it, it's out of 100, always out of 100 with a percent, 32 out of 100, 6 out of 100, 93 out of 100. It's so easy to put a, a percent into a fraction. I mean, I could simplify these, of course, but I want decimals. Once I get it like this, 6 hundredths. I know my place value, there's my hundredths, six hundredths, 93 hundredths, okay? So you can go like that, get it to a fraction, divide, or you can take the 6% and I'm going to move my decimal two points, two over. Here's where it is right now. I got to go one. Two. Now, I have to add a zero here, so there's something between the decimal and the six. Okay? So I went one, two. And six percent is the same as 0 0.06. Ninety-three percent. My decimal's here. One, Two, and I get rid of this. 
and I have 0.93. Okay? So that's basically how you take a percent to a decimal. You start with your percent, you either put it up over 100, 32 over 100, and then you can use your calculator or you can divide it. 32 divided by 100 will be 0.32, or you could just say 32 hundredths and write it, or you start with the, where the decimal point is and go two to the left and get rid of your percent. Okay? All right, let's go the other way. Now we want to go decimals to percents. And I could go uh, um, to a fraction and then to a percent. There's two ways to do this one also, okay? So 47 hundredths, 47 hundredths is the same as 47 hundredths, okay? 47 hundredths, 47 hundredths. Because this is the place value, hundreds. Now, a percent is anything out of 100. Once I get this to 100, I'm happy. That's my percent. So it is 47%. Okay. So that's one way. Take it to a fraction. Get this bottom to be 100. Once that bottom is 100, whatever's on top is your percent. Because it's something out of a hundred. Okay. Now, the other way to do it, just like with the going from a percent to a decimal, you got rid of the percent by going this way. So 47%. I want to get rid of this percent symbol. So I start where the decimal is and go one, two. Now it's gone. Now you can assume the opposite is true. If I want that symbol back, I have to go one, two, and it's back. And it is. So, 47%. Uh, 0.47, if I want this number, 47%, if I want to change it to a decimal, I want to get rid of this, I go one, two. Now it's a decimal. If I want to make it a percent, I go one, two, and it's back. So if you're getting rid of it, you're sending it over there. Decimal two part over there, two decimal points, two place value, I should say. That way, if I want to put it back when it's not there, I got to bring it from wherever this is over two and put it there. Okay? So let's look at this one, 0.73, 73 hundredths, and that's so nice that it's already 100. So the bottom is 100, so I know whatever's on top right here, that's my percent. I got the bottom to be 100, I'm good to go. Um, or I could go, it's a decimal, I want it back into percent, one, two, 73%. This one, a little different. Five tenths. So five tenths. Five tenths is how you write this one. This is not a hundred, so it's not five percent, but I could make this a hundred by going like this. Ten times ten is a hundred, and if I do the same to the top, five times ten is fifty. Fifty over a hundred. Now, I have a hundred here, so my percent is fifty percent. The other way I could do it is 0.5. I want that percent symbol, so I go one, two. There's a spot for a digit. Here's a spot for a digit. If I have a spot for a digit, I have to put a digit there. So then I can get rid of this, and I'm at 50%, okay? So you either work on getting it to uh, having a denominator of 100, or kind of one of the ways I do it is you, uh, if you want a percent and you have a decimal, 
If you have a decimal and want a percent, you're going this way. If you have a percent and want a decimal, you go that way. Okay? So two place values, depending on what you want. Okay. Go ahead and uh, watch the guided practice, and then you'll have a chance to do some independent practice and some extra practice. Let me know if you have any questions.